What's up guys, Gibbertron9 back in with another video for you guys today. And uh, two quick things before I get to my pickups. One, the text issue where it was backwards is now hopefully fixed for the, from now on. So that's something that's a good up, upgrade for my channel. And secondly, I'm going to have to hold off on some editing because of time restraints. And I want to be able to get content on my channel as opposed to editing, which takes a lot of time, especially with how busy I am with school and uh, college visits now. So um, I'm just going to stick with content and uh, have to lay off on the editing just a little bit. Um, if that becomes a problem, please let me know. But um, I'm going to get right to the pickups now. Um, I picked up all 10 of these PS2 games for 15 bucks. So um, I had a small little, I guess, option when it comes to picking these games. There weren't too many available that would f were in the range of the 10 for 15, but I picked up some good gems that I'm looking forward to trying out. Uh, for example, Shepherd's Crossing, which is a Harvest Moon ripoff. And I've seen these around at Walmarts and Best Buys for 5 to $15 even. But uh, for the price that I paid for this, which is about 139 I think, for all of these, was uh, it was a good range for me to try it out. Next is Hot Shots Golf 4, and I have that sealed, but greatest hits, but now I have it black label and unsealed so I can actually try it out, because I've heard interesting things about the Hot Shots Golf series, and I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Also, The Da Vinci Code, which is an interesting movie, and the game looks to be sort of a do-it-yourself mystery, which I might give it a shot if I have the time. I don't know too much about this one, but that's The Getaway. And another one is Raw Danger, which is been pretty pretty much recommended to me by quite a few people because they seemed to uh, think that it would be in my style and it seemed pretty interesting interesting box art though but uh, I'm looking forward to giving that one a go now if you looked at my recent pickups I don't remember the number but it's a few back I picked up an iToy and uh, one of the games that I'm interested to try out with the iToy is Operation Spy and it was a good opportunity to pick that up so I did another one I don't know too much about is Pirates Legend of the Black Buccaneer but uh, it looks pretty interesting on the back, so I might give that one a go. This next game I've been looking to buy. I've had a few opportunities. I've seen it on the GameCube, PS2, but I'm going to go with the PS2 version because it worked with this deal, and that's XIII, otherwise known as 13. It's an uh, interesting art style, but it's a first-person shooter that I'm looking forward to trying, and it was cheap, so it was a good opportunity to pick it up. Next is SOCOM 3, U.S. Navy SEALs, um, a pretty good series, and it was in the price range, so I grabbed it. And finally is Kessen, which seems to be a Feudal Japan RTS game. Looks pretty interesting, and I'm looking forward to trying that one out. So next, I picked up a bundle of four PS3 games from, from a cousin of mine, and if you guys have seen my channel, you know him as Raptor2837. Put the link in the description. Check him out. He does a lot of Airsoft reviews, and if you're, if you're interested in that kind of thing, definitely check him out, because he does a good job with those. But um, he really hooked me up with a deal here. He wasn't even looking for anything for these. I gave him five bucks for the heck of it. But um, honestly, it was very generous of him. So um, I'll show you with the PS3 games. The first is Ghost Recon 2 Advanced Warfighter. And um, I don't know too much about the Ghost Recon series. But um, Tom Clancy makes good games. And I'm in I like the Rainbow Six Vegas uh, games. So I'll give that one a go maybe sometime. Now I'm not a huge racing fan as you guys know. But this game looks pretty interesting. And that's... Split second. Um, it looks to be pretty over the top and a lot of. It looks to have a cool style. I'm looking forward to trying that one out. And next is Black Sight Area 51, which seems to be an alien shooter. And um, I'm looking forward to trying that out. I've been on a shooter kick a little bit recently. I've been interested in trying out some shooter games just because I know that they kind of flood the market, but I don't play too many of them, so maybe that'll be one that I try out. And finally, I've been enjoying RTS games as well. And uh, Sid Meier is excellent with these, and I picked up Civilization Revolution. And this is sort of a um, diluted uh, Age of Empires, as well, the way I like to think of it. But I played it on the Xbox 360 a bit with a friend, and I'm looking forward to playing that one myself on the PS3. So finally, two PS2 games, two which are pretty hard to find, that I picked up for good prices. Um, first of that was Stella Deus, and I believe it's The Gate of Eternity, yep, that's what it says right there. And this is an interesting Atlas RPG mixed with some strategy. And um, I've been looking for this game a little bit. And I had a $5 coupon to GameStop. So the total price for this was $0.20. Cents. And if I look on Amazon, the price is about $25 for a uh, box, nice condition with manual. And that's exactly what this is. So that was an awesome grab. And I'm really excited to try that out. And another one 
I picked up quite a few Tales games recently, like Tales of Symphonia and Tales of the Abyss, and I picked up Tales of Legendia for the PS2. This is also a pretty difficult to find in good condition game, and again, it's in good condition. There's the receipt, but that's your manual on your disc. And when the uh, employee brought out the game, he basically said it looked brand new, never used, and when you look at the disc, there were no scratches, so that's always great to find. And finally, um, my last three pickups are for the PSP, one is a UMD video, and the other two are games. I'll start off with a video, and that is Cowboy Bebop the Movie. Now, this is an interesting anime series that I'm looking forward to, try to uh, viewing and trying out. I've been on a bit of an anime enjoyment recently, watching uh, you know, Full Metal Alchemist and some other Japanese obscure ones that have been pretty enjoyable, and I've heard good things about Cowboy Bebop, so I'm going to give that one a go and maybe get back to you on how it was. And uh, my last two, which are games, Ease, The Ark of Nepistum, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, it got pretty low reviews, but it's a pretty hard game to find in good condition again. And so I'm um, looking forward to trying that out in the E series. I mean, it's always been good. And my last pickup for you guys today is Metal Gear Acid. Now, this didn't get great reviews because I think they were expecting a Metal Gear Solid style gameplay. But uh, Metal Gear Acid brings a new strategic aspect to the Metal Gear universe. And I think it does it in a very successful way, making you deal with the cards dealt, literally, to be successful in your missions. And I really enjoyed the time that I played with it. It's a little long to get through missions, and I'm not really able to spend that much time with this. But um, if you're into that kind of thing, I definitely recommend you guys check it out. So thanks a lot for watching my video for you guys today. And uh, yeah, a lot of these pickups were, if not all of them, yeah, all of them were Sony pickups. So this will be my Sony Edition recent pickups video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.